I'm part of a diversity group called Women in Broke. We're able to voice our concerns, establish goals for where we want to get to in the next year and then sort of come together with other like-minded individuals and generate a plan for how we actually want to do that, whether that's you know, organising events like for International Women's Day or just little, little things like looking at the other employers on the, top, the Times Top 50 Employers for Women, for example, seeing what they're doing that we're not and what we can adopt. Um, and the third thing I'm doing is that I'm actually looking at refreshing the diversity and inclusion strategy at Rogue. It's a little bit outdated at the moment and I'm working on updating that so it's reflective of Rogue's current position on diversity. We don't really work in a presenteeism type environment. It's very much focused on outputs. So if you've got to go and drop your kids off at school, that's fine. If you tend to work better in antisocial hours, then that's fine too. It just works for you. Um, we've got a very senior um, member of our leadership team um, who makes uh, makes that time work for her. So uh, as a, as a sign-off in, in all of her emails, she says that she will um, respond in unsociable hours because it suits her. She's not expecting anybody else to, to, to respond um, in those hours as well. And it's those very physical manifestations of, of our agile working policy that, that seem to resonate for people and it gives licence to, to make the working day work for them. Ultimately, we have a, have a far more engaged, a far more productive uh, workforce. Um, therefore, we deliver better. We need to stay on top of our game. Uh, there are other manufacturers that will be, will be wanting our market share very quickly. If we don't have the best aircraft, if we don't have the best employees, we won't be able to achieve that.